In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words. What I have done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, for the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Well, let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, Graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the holy ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that the good you do might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from, away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, Write this in my own hand, I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed. Give food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. 
the Lord protects strangers. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Hallelujah. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The kingdom of God cannot be observed and no one will announce. Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. May the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ be made to an everlasting life. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, Jesus speaks about the kingdom of God and it cannot be observed or predicted. Rather, it is among us, within us, and will be revealed in the fullness at the end of time. This teaching challenges us to think differently about the kingdom of God. It is a present reality that we can experience now. It is an internal state of righteousness, peace, and spiritual joy achieved through living in accordance with God's will. So we have to focus 
on our own interior transformation rather than an external earthly domination. We must have an eschatological vision where God becomes all in all within us and this interior reality manifested through our actions, through our faith, love, mercy, service, free will. This enlightenment is within us, in our heart, the spark of God is there. Let us try to find out the kingdom of God through prayer, Bible reading, worship, attending the Mass, repentance, praise and thanksgiving. Let us lead a peaceful life, joyful life and righteous life and respond with faith in Jesus and gratitude. It is really living in the spirit of securing justice for oppressed and needy. The name Jesus is the complete control of our life. Jesus himself brought God's kingdom on earth. Only kingdom people can understand this. God love you. Trusting that God hears and answers our prayers, let us offer our petitions to him. That God may bless all members of the church with the strength to follow the stirrings of Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That national and civic leaders may receive the grace and blessings of our almighty God in performing the duties for those whom they serve. Let us pray to the Lord that refugees and others who are displaced from their homes may obtain the help and support they need to live with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord that Christ may draw us ever closer to him and grant us peace in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord that those who have died may find peace and rest in our Lord's loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us submit our special petitions now silent. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers to you and humbly ask that you answer according to your most holy will through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord, and may the sacrifice of your said will be be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts of food here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly contempt, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of her holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was 
entered. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim death and prophecy. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with friends of Pope and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory is yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God.
there is Sri Sabhi Bhagyam Dev Babaji who said, now they need to take Chanana and come in Krishna Bhakti. They are loving you. They are not going to protect Chanana and go to the Krishna Bhakti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those who your heavenly power has entered. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.